Welcome to Bone Matters, where we examine questions or topics that matter to you. My name is Kirsty and my colleague here is Vivian, and we're both specialist nurses at the RMS. And today we're going to talk about some of the practical issues around using and storing and traveling with some of the injectable treatments for osteoporosis. Medications like teriparatide, abalaparatide, and romazosumab involve daily or monthly injections that you give yourself. These are also medicines that need to be kept in a fridge and so may need some planning if you're going to travel with them. So, Viv, can you tell us a bit about these medications? Yes, so teriparatide is in an injection pen that lasts for four weeks and must be kept in a fridge between two and eight degrees Celsius between uses. It's available from several different manufacturers and there are slight variations on how long each product can be left out of the fridge but remain safe to use. So do check the leaflet that's inside the box that comes with your injection. Try and get into the habit of putting it back in the fridge after you've done the injection. If you forget, return it to the fridge as soon as possible. When traveling with teriparatide, you should use a special cool bag with ice packs to prevent the medication getting too warm which we'll talk about a bit later in the session. If you are on Romozosumab, this comes in two single-use pens, which you take one after another once a month. It should be kept in the fridge before you give the injections, then dispose of once used. Once you take the carton containing the pens out of the fridge to use, you should not put it back into the fridge. If you do go on holiday and your Romazosumab is due while you're away, you can take it with you. Romazosumab can be kept at room temperature, so up to 25 degrees Celsius, for up to 30 days. You do need to keep the pre-filled syringe in the original packaging in order to protect from light. If you are taking a balaparatide, before use, the injection pens need to be stored in a fridge, again, between 2 and 8 degrees Celsius. When you start a new pen, it can be kept at room temperature, so below 25 degrees Celsius, for 30 days. So again, if you are traveling, you can take it with you. Although abalaparatide and romazosumab can be left out of the fridge once in use, they must be kept below 25 degrees Celsius, so at room temperature. So bear this in mind if you're going somewhere hot. And if you're going to be away for more than a month or doing ongoing travel to multiple locations, then you may need a cool bag to store your injections. So what happens when people start these medications? So there tends to be some support in the early stages, just to make sure you're confident giving the injections, for example. This does vary depending on the medication you've been prescribed, so do ask your specialist what happens in your area. Home care services may organise delivery, provide a nurse to show you how to do the injections and may have a helpline for problems. Some also provide travel bags, but not all. So Kirsty, do you have any general tips for people about storing these medications at home or on holiday? Yeah, absolutely. You will need to keep any injections that need to be kept cool on a shelf in your fridge. So avoid keeping it on one of the shelves in the fridge door because that does tend to heat up and cool down more as the door opens and closes when you use your fridge. These medications must not be frozen as this can affect the medication and how it might work for you. So if you have a nice compartment in your fridge, keep your injections on a different shelf. Aim to keep your injection pens in their box as some also need to be protected from light. And so do always check the instructions that come with your medication. What if someone has a problem with the injection pen not working? Mm, yeah, if your injection pen doesn't work, you will need to get in touch with your home care service if you have one. If you don't and you get your injections from your pharmacist, then you will need to speak to them and they should be able to arrange for you to have a replacement. If you're abroad and you have a problem with an injection pen, you will need to contact your travel insurance company who will advise you on what to do and whether you can get a replacement prescription in the country that you're visiting. And Kirsty, what do people need to know when traveling with these injections? Yeah, if you're traveling in the UK, you will need to ensure that you have a travel bag that will keep your injections cool whilst you're on your journey. You will also need to check that there is a fridge you can use to store your medication when you get to your accommodation. 
Some people like to take a small fridge thermometer with them as well for peace of mind. You'll also need to make sure that you have enough of your medication, enough needles, skin wipes and a sharp spin to dispose of used needles in. If you're traveling abroad, you'll need all of those things I've just mentioned. If you're flying, you should keep your medicines with you in your hand luggage. The storage hold on a plane can get quite warm or cool, so you wouldn't want to leave your medication in your suitcase. You'll also need to make sure that you have the correct paperwork about any prescription medication that you're going to be taking through customs. This is usually a copy of your prescription and a letter from your GP. You should always check the rules for the country that you're visiting in case any extra paperwork is required. And if you're going on a long haul flight, it's often useful to contact the airline well in advance of your travel, but to ask if you can store any injections in a fridge on the plane whilst you're on board. And of course, you do need to make sure that you have adequate travel insurance that covers you for your osteoporosis as well. So Vivian, we've mentioned travel bags a few times. Can you tell us a bit more about the sort of travel bag people might need? Yes, so at the Royal Osteoporosis Society, we do not provide travel bags or make specific recommendations on which one to buy. However, we do have some tips when looking online to help you. You need a cool bag that says it is for traveling with medications and that will keep the medication cool between two and eight degrees Celsius. Some companies will guarantee up to 12 hours and then the gel or cool packs would need to have to be replaced or the medication put back in the fridge. Some might keep it cooler for longer. It might be useful to check if the company has done tests to show that this temperature is maintained for the time they say. Many companies have a customer services telephone number. So if you do have questions about a product size or suitability, you can ring the company for advice. You would need to tell them the dimensions, so the width and length of the injection pen you have, and the length of time you need to keep it at the required temperature, so how long you're traveling for to help you buy the right one. It's important that frozen gel or cool packs are not in direct contact with the injection pens in case they cause the medication to freeze. Again, as we said earlier, if it freezes, it cannot be used. If you're worried about traveling with your medications, it may be okay to miss an injection for a short amount of time, but you should discuss this with your specialist as that this may not be okay for everyone. That's really useful. Thank you, Vivian. I hope that information has been useful for everybody out there. And of course, we do have lots more on our website about all of the different drug treatments and medications for osteoporosis.